Alrighty guys, and uh, welcome back to the Panzer. And uh, today we're going to be tackling something um, that I've been working around in my head for quite a bit of time. It's how we're going to go about fitting the fast charging uh, port to this car. So I'm going to step outside, um, show you guys what I'm uh, planning to do. There might be a bit of uh, wind noise, apologies for that. Um, but uh, if there is, I'll try to cut out as much of it as I can and uh, reshoot the piece. So let's go have a quick look at the car. Then we'll go on to the bench and I'll show you what I'm planning to do there. Alrighty, so if we remember back to the E39, uh, which I'll be doing an update video on soon, we were able to install fast charging port in here uh, behind one of the front kidney grills you see I haven't even gotten to replace this I do have some new ones to go in there um, and I worked out very well it meant that I could plug in the car without having to have the bonnet or the boot or the boot open now on the Panzer we probably could achieve the same thing they are smaller, the front, the front grills, um, but I decided I didn't really want to do that for a few reasons, not least of which we want to do some aero modding to the, the car at, at a point that'll end up closing these guys off, probably. Um, additionally to that, I have a radiator in, in there at the minute. I could relocate that and so on, uh, but it wasn't really where I wanted to be. So we have the normal AC charging port here installed in the fuel in the fuel filler, um, and that works great there. <coughs> Probably could have installed the fast charging port here, but then when would I uh, slow charge the, the car? So I suppose the simplest thing to have done would have been just to put it in a box here somewhere inside the boot. And just open the boot uh, and plug in the car and close down the lid but that's a bit amateurish and it's um, it's not really where I want it to be so I was in a supermarket a couple of days ago and I had taken the Panzer for our run and I was just walking back to the, the car and I got a burst of inspiration so as we look at the back of the car here, you'll see there's two on each side of these nice big voids here. And they're there for a reason. Nice big voids in there. So they would have been there for the rather large uh, exhaust silencer uh, boxes that would have been fitted to this car when it had the V8 in it. So you guessed it folks, what we are going to do is we're going to fit a new back box for the Panzer. Stay with us. So say hello to our new back box. This is a GRP plastic um, electrical enclosure. I got a couple of these uh, out of a skip. Back during the summer, or have been thrown away. Uh, they're very good quality, um, and ver very high high impact uh, enclosure, but yet quite light. So this is our Chademo fast charging port. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart. We're going to cut out the box here, and we're going to mount that port sideways in here, and then we're going to paint this all up. Uh, I don't know whether it be black or I might try and paint it the same colour as the car. Um, and we're going to put this guy uh, in that lo location um, there so that we can reverse up to a fast charging station, plug in the car without having to have boot doors, bonnets, anything else 
um, open and it'll be in obtrusive and I'm going to get a bit of a kick out of the idea of putting a fast charging port in the same place where the exhaust on the petrol version of the car would have been. Alrighty guys, so we got our box drilled out. Um, I'm just going to go ahead now here and put a bit of our favourite compound on here uh, just to help seal the thing in. Then we're going to get our charging socket bolted in right here. Alright, so we got a bit of tiger seal on there. <coughs> Not much left in the tube, but we got it in there. I'm going to try and go ahead now and get these cables in without uh, contacting <laughs> too much of it. Yeah, I failed at that too. Yeah, okay. Oh man. Oh man, no. Arg, tiger seal, no. No, it just gets everywhere. Ah. Uh, Everywhere but where you need it. Alright, it's in. Gonna have to. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Uh, sometimes you tackle a job and it's like everything in the world is fighting you. Sometimes you tackle a job and it just all falls into place. And that's kind of what's happened here uh, regarding the fast charging port. So. I'm going to go out, so outside to the, the car. I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing. Um, now, there's a very high wind out there, so if it does squeal out the sound, apologies for that. I'll see if maybe uh, I can do a voiceover later on. So, let's go have a look at the car, and uh, we'll crack on. All right, so we have our back box bolted in roughly. It's not lined up. So you see there's a bit of an angle on it here because I have to uh, adjust some of those bolts when I'm putting it in place finally. Um, so got our box in here. There's no lid on it at the minute, obviously. Um, so, let's, so let's go ahead. Uh, I'll show you guys how this thing works. So, uh, probably want to do it from the other side, I suppose. Let's see. Not exactly set will be. Alright, so, just pop open your charging port, and the, the door just basically sits perfectly here. Uh, we take our plug. This is a Fujikuru plug, and it just goes straight in there. Then you want to pull it out when you're finished charging, press the release, pull the plug out. Plug in, charge up. So kind of that's how it looks. Obviously we'll be getting everything painted up and uh, bolted in correctly. Uh, this is just a loose fit, first of all, just to make sure that it's actually viable to do this, but I think it is. All right, you guys, this is where we are at. Uh, we have our box assembled. Um, so I've basically extended the DC and the signal cables here. Uh, so this is just serving as a kind of a junction box here. We have our charging port on the front. Uh, we got some conduit glands here on the back. We have spare outlets blanked off um, I'm kind of ready now just to vacuum that box out put on the lid and we're going to paint it and then fit it to the car finally stick with us alrighty guys our custom back box is in uh, basically took the whole day but could have been a much more difficult job and I'm just delighted uh, at how it's actually turned out. So let's go have a quick look, uh, show you what I have done. Paint is still wet and the usual warning about the wind. Um, apologies if it does uh, uh, squeal out the microphone. So here we go. 
daylight's on the way out, so I have the spotlight on here. So, painted it the same colour as the car, but the paint is still very wet, so I'm kind of not going to uh, see. But basically, this is what we have here. Um, we have the box installed here, um, just where the right hand side silencer would have been on the normal engine setup. So, let me get in here a bit, get an extra bit of light for you guys. So, this is what we got. Um, a couple of scratches putting the thing in so I'm just touching those up now with the can of paint everything's still very wet so I had time to wait for it to dry needed to get the job finished today um, so it's all bolted in bracketed in onto uh, let's see if we can show you this um, it's actually bracketed in there uh, onto the bumper uh, bolts I just took them out and put two longer bolts in there and uh, everything is very secure there's one bolt going into the boot also that you can't see here and around the back is where we have the wiring so this is the wiring side of things here um, we got three conduits two with the DC cables and uh, one with the signal cable and they're just kind of uh, running in there into the inside of the car hope you can see all that now it all kind of makes some sense but uh turned out very nice here um pretty good job if i say so myself all righty guys here comes the money shot so let's say this is me rolling up here to a fast charging point got my trusty fuji kuru cable um, just leave that there. Just gotta be a little bit cautious here because everything's painted. So just gotta touch the uh, release catch for the flap. Flap kicks up. Take the plug, and we're in. And that's it. Um, at this point in the plan, now we would be DC fast charging. All right, guys. So that is it. Uh, we have the fast charging port fitted to the Panzer. I'm uh, really happy with that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And uh, we'll see you all next time.